What is hyperperformance? It is a state of performance when all the useless human thinking is minimized or removed completely, such as poor judgments, destructive thoughts, subjective biases, also counterproductive opinions, bad decisions, and the like. A full removal may not always be possible, but their impact can be minimized significantly. What is an opposite of hyperperformance? A state of performance that contains many issues with human decisions and actions. Organizational success is often measured by using key performance indicators, such as, for example, revenue growth, profit margin, and customer satisfaction. All of them are good as a pointer to the level of hyperperformance in an organization. In each key performance indicator, there is always a human-related component. That component often can significantly determine the success of an indicator. For achieving greater hyperperformance, the human component shall be improved. Decision making, behavioral patterns, and habits are some of the biggest threats. To address them, managers often decide on adding more stuff. More trainings, more certifications, more knowledge, more skills, etc. Indeed, adding more can help boosting performance. However, that is not necessarily improving the fundamental ways how humans think. It just adds more options and gives more instructions on how to behave. Contrary to that, hyperperformance requires deeper changes in human minds. Therefore, it relies on neuroplasticity. It is a human ability to alter neural networks in their brains. Our habits are stored in and executed from these networks. The frequently repeated human choices are encoded there. All the productive as well as the unproductive preferences. Hyperperformance requires minimizing all the counterproductive ones, ideally by fully removing each obstacle in human thinking that hinders performance for every individual as well collectively for each organization. For example, if employees are reluctant to accept artificial intelligence, that can seriously damage organizational performance, right? Thus, such thinking needs improvements to achieve hyperperformance. And there are tools and methods available to foster that. To conclude, what is hyperperformance? It is a state of performance when all the useless human thinking is minimized or removed completely. And it can be achieved by using the right tools and methods available today. Thank you.